Welcome back to Blockchain Peel, my name is Alex and today we'll watch yet another video of Dominic Williams talking about the Internet Computer Protocol in front of a crowd. And this presentation happened in Dubai in 2023 at Art Talks. And before we check out the video, let's have a quick look at the description. Dominic Williams, founder and chief scientist of Definity, delivered a compelling talk about the Internet Computer at the Art Talk Anniversary Edition. He described the Internet Computer as a revolutionary concept, building upon the idea of a world computer from 2014 to 2015. The project began in 2015 with the aim of creating an Ethereum 2 or Ethereum 3 due to how advanced it would become, but it soon evolved into its own project requiring years of research and development before the mainnet launch. And this is a recurring theme. We heard Dominic in previous talks describing how the Internet Computer Protocol was supposed to become the future of Ethereum, but then Ethereum got a lot of traction and it would have been a lot more difficult to turn Ethereum that we know today into the Internet Computer Protocol. So it was easier and better to create a standalone project which is now the Internet Computer Protocol. The vision for the Internet Computer Protocol is all encompassing and we will see in the future a lot of other blockchains and companies begin to use the Internet Computer Protocol infrastructure because really there is nothing else that they could use if they wanted to be fully on chain and you know leave Web2 behind and get into the real Web3. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and hear Dominic talk. Let's give it a listen. <laughs> weekend device so you're gonna to have to forgive my hoarse voice uh, the video you just saw is um, the launch video from just over two years ago for the internet computer network the internet computer is a, a big idea um, it's an evolution of the original world computer concept um, from sort of 2014 2015 um, the project affinity started out in 2015 the original aim was to create something like an ethereum 2 or an ethereum 3 but it became apparent that this thing would have to be its own project. It was going to take years. And, and actually, we were in R&D for uh, almost six years before the launch of Mainnet. The big idea of the internet computer is that a blockchain, super advanced blockchain, re-architected, uh, running on uh, new math, can provide a kind of serverless cloud functionality where you can build almost anything and pretty much everything using smart contract software that's unstoppable and tamper-proof and of course can be made autonomous so you can uh, allow, have it run independently or under the control of a, of a DAO. Today, people are building uh, you know, a wide range of games, metaverse services, social fight services that run fully on chain without uh, any need for traditional IT. That's a big deal because um, you know these kinds of things involve lots of data and lots of computation, and you know we're, we're all very familiar with the idea of tokenization and Web three giving users ownership of things, um, ownership of value through tokens, or ownership of digital assets through NFTs. The internet computer kind of pushes blockchain further forward, taking us from sort of the Web3 we know towards a kind of new Web 3.0 paradigm where you have full stack decentralization and things run entirely on the blockchain. So today, um, you have services that you know, host many thousands of users that are built entirely on the blockchain with smart contracts, which scale, process web, and of course support things like tokenization which enables those services to be run under the direct and exclusive control of advanced DAOs. DAOs, of course, are decentralized autonomous organizations. And this begins to invert the traditional tech model where you, you know, services, online services, are owned by companies and run by CEOs and, and, and so on. And in, in this New world, these services are running without any back doors. There's no uh, Amazon Web Services account where the developers go to um, uh, and where they have control over the user data and the computation and so on. These things are fully on chain. They run under the control of DAOs. And the communities that operate those DAOs 
now have uh, full ownership and control of these games, metaverses, and social fi services in the same way that individual users today own digital assets through the blockchains and things like NFTs. We already have around 14 or 15 project that decentralized via the SNS launchpad on the Internet Computer Protocol and people who participated into this decentralization swap of the projects, now they are part owners of the platform itself. And whenever the development team of that project wants to do an update to the project, they have to raise a proposal and all the token holders get to vote whether or not they want to approve or reject any of those proposals. Imagine how cool it would be if, for example, companies, big companies like X or Facebook or Instagram or Google, they would be decentralized in this way and all the users of those platforms would have a say in what happens with them. I think that would be super cool. So this is a really big advance. And you know, one of the purposes of the internet computer is to provide a public network that is a complete alternative to the traditional IT stack, where you can build using advanced smart contract technology without need for servers, cloud instances, databases, web servers, all the, or any of the components of traditional IT. And we're also pushing into new areas where enterprise is beginning to build all kinds of interesting things on the network itself. Last thing I want to say is this is a part of a very broad and important trend, which is beginning to unbundle Silicon Valley. Now, uh, I currently live in Zurich. I've been there the last uh, two and a half or so years. And before that, I was in Silicon Valley for 10 years. And I'm seeing real change. Like, there was a time when you couldn't really create anything meaningful in tech outside of Silicon Valley. You had to be there. You had to be there for the capital. Um, the skilled people, the network effects. And what's happened in the last few years is fantastic um, and amazing. For the first time, we're seeing meaningful tech ventures springing up all over the, the world. And this is a huge opportunity for regions um, to seize a part of the tech pie as the tech economy democratizes and build, build out tech locally. So we in the uh, internet com computer community are doing this through ICP hubs, which are proliferating all over the world. One of our most important and best run is here in Dubai, um, which reflects the importance, I think, of Dubai's... Say that again, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! yeah, so one of, our, one of our most important ICP hubs, and they're proliferating everywhere, and probably genuinely uh, the best run, is here in Dubai. And, and that reflects Dubai's um, increasing importance in this ecosystem and its position as an international nexus. Um, and the reason my voice is hoarse just simply reflects the number of incredible people here in Dubai that I've been speaking to Amazing. and the unfolding opportunities. With that, yeah, I just want to say thanks to Crypto Oasis, Thank an amazing you. organization for putting this on, and um, Thank you. thanks to Dubai for being such a great crypto hub and making all this possible. It's amazing people like you to make it great. Give them a big round of applause, everyone. Yeah, that was super cool. This was a short presentation of the Internet Computer Protocol. And with that, we're done. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.